My name is Sheila Lirio Marcelo. My name is Arturo Condo. My name is Ida Augen. Felix Maradiaga. Charmino Becinoe. It's Ruben Abraham. I'm Lisa Witter. My name is Len Kibayashi. I'm Esteban Bullrich. I'm Priv Bradu. A young global leader is a bold, brave, action-oriented, entrepreneurial leader who decided to use their leadership talents to make the world a better place. As a society, as a community, and as the world, we need to have difficult conversations if we are to overcome the problems. For the first time, I can see that everybody from government and you know, companies and social innovators are trying to bring new ideas into the table. The YGL community offers a platform for young leaders to share their ideas and to agree on common values so they could be more effective on the work that we all do in trying to change the world. It's simply one of the most remarkable groups of people that I've ever interacted with and yet actually having their feet to the ground. The community is made up of leaders from all walks of life. 50% are business leaders, we have societal leaders, social entrepreneurs, politicians, intellectual and academic leaders from over 70 different countries around the world. More than 42% of our community are women leaders. We bring them together to learn from one another, translate their success into global significance. It's very important to learn from their expertise, to take help from them, to understand how they tackle issues in their own countries. And I've learned from them that you know, I should be taking a step back and looking at a big picture and seeing a way how I can contribute back to society. Things like Deworm the World, which has saved 41 million kids and kept them in school. I'm thinking of global dignity that was in 50 countries. That has immense impact on the lives of literally hundreds of millions of people. A group of us YGLs who are visiting a community in Lima of indigenous people from the Amazon to reimagine what a community looks like made out of Legos. To look at what are some of the things the community might need to help it thrive and have less violence. They knew how to get this opportunity of us going there to persuade the politics to come and also to move the community to say what they wanted. The World Economic Forum connects the work on the ground to the discussions that happen at high levels. And it's so important that we remember why. It's about the people. We are responsible for changing the world. We are responsible for making the world a better place for our kids. That's something that I want to strive for and I want the world to strive for. It's hard, but I think if each of us can strive for that in our own way, that is really, really powerful.